Here's a sneak peek in the new fragrance oil I'm testing. Let's make soap! Hi soapy friends, it's Steph from Micahs and More. I'm testing Beach Walk Fragrance Oil and as the top decoration I'm using sea salt in mica. Here's aqua green and then turquoise. You'll see these a little later. I prep my water by adding Tussa Silk that already has sugar and sodium lactate added. Once I have my safety gear on, I add the lye to the water. Please note that this is not a complete tutorial, this is just to show you the process. Once the lye water and the melted oils have cooled to about 100 degrees, I carefully add the lye water to the oils. The oils that I use for my recipe are lard, coconut, olive pomace, cocoa butter, and shea butter. I stick blend until it's at an emulsion or at best a light trace. I use the large spoonula to clean off my stick blender. It's my favorite tool for mixing larger batches. Here I'm mixing up white satin mica with some of the reserved oils. Next is aqua green mica. And here is turquoise mica. I make a blend of the two colors by mixing them in equal parts. I'm using orange peel powder and a little bit of oil to give a sandy look to my plain batter. I hand stir in Beach Walk fragrance oil. It has notes of citrus, floral, 
driftwood, and white musk. If it behaves well in soap and cures out nicely, I'll add it to the store. I use the small spoonula for this. It's my favorite tool for smaller amounts. I take a little bit of the soap and add it to the orange peel powder. I'll use this to do a drop swirl into a small amount of the plain batter. Let's get this soap in the mold. I'll prop that up with a pastry cutter and set it aside while I mix the mica into the soap. I'll start my design by doing a Clyde slide where I pour the colors alternately into the bowl and then I'll do a wall pour into the mold. This goes into the mold using the wall pour technique.
I use a spoon to texture the top. I'll add the mica colored sea salt on top. I really like how this kind of looks like sea glass on top, but I thought it needed a little extra sparkle so I added stellar white mica on top. And here's the cut soap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to find out how you can save on soap supplies, you can order at micasandmore.com or to share what you make, join Steph's Micas and More on Facebook. Thanks for watching.